The Gateway Reader nomination deadline is coming up. We'll have details ahead. Also on the broadcast, we'll have boys basketball results. All this and more coming up on KFOI Daily News. There's always fun in store at Big Frog Custom T-Shirts in Moore and Independence. Visit the store, choose, create, and celebrate your customized design on a wide selection of apparel and gifts. Your order can be printed and ready within 24 hours. Let Big Frog outfit you today. Good morning, Fort S. H. High School, and welcome to March. I'm Frankie Wanamaker. And I'm Amante Butte. Today is March 2nd, 2015, and here are today's news and announcements. The Library and Media Center would like to remind you to finish the, that the deadline to finish reading this year's Gateway nominee books is Wednesday, March 11th. The purpose of the Gateway Readers Award is to promote literature, literacy, and reading in Missouri high schools and to recognize authors and illustrators of books that are favorites of Missouri students in these grades. Each year, Missouri students in grades 9 through 12 vote for their favorite book from a list of nominated titles. This year, you can choose from 15 titles, including Burning Blue by Paul Griffin, Don't Turn Around by Michelle Gagan, or Starters by L Lisa Rice. For a complete list, or if you have questions, visit the Library Media Center. Cheerleading tryouts are this week of March 9th and 13th. Tryouts are open to all students, male and female, from incoming fresh and coming to freshmen to upcoming seniors. Tryout packets are in the, both the main office and freshman office. The following colleges and universities will be visiting the school in the near future. Northwest Missouri State University will be here March 5th at 1.30 p.m. Avila University will be here March 12th at 12.45 p.m. Emporia State University will be here March 13th at 1.30 p.m. And Truman State University will be here March 19th at 8.30 a.m. Stop by the Counseling Center to pick up a pass so you can visit with these college reps and find out more about each school's offerings. You can also find out more about colleges and scholarships in the March Scholarship Bulletin. Stop by the Counseling Center to pick up a copy or find it posted in each teacher's classroom. The last day to register for the April 18th ACT test is Friday, March 13th. Please go to www.actstudent.org forward slash start to register. Use the Fortosage code 261-507 and the Fortosage Test Center code 223-530. Now we'll have today's weather report with Frankie after this message from our sponsor. Enjoy a dance club experience at Lunar Bowl. Disco lighting, current and classic music videos playing on our three 10-foot big screens and your BFFs with Cosmic Bowling at Lunar Bowl. Explore one of our weekend Cosmic Bowling sessions and get your bowling groove on. Welcome back. So currently it's 23 degrees and very cloud cloudy, but our high 39 degrees, so it'll warm up just a bit from this morning. And then tonight's low is 35 degrees, so make sure you're bundled up if you're traveling anywhere tonight. And tomorrow our high will warm up to 47 degrees. Now moving on to our radar, we see a bit of uh, precipitation moving closer to uh, the metro area, so we might expect to see uh, a little bit of rain. Now moving on to our five-day forecast, we see um, on and off drizzle um, tonight and then light rain tomorrow morning, so expect that coming your way. The Coming up, we'll have the sports report after this words from Blue Springs 8. The Blue Springs 8 Theater at 1901 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs offers you eight screens for your viewing pleasure, including a full snack bar and comfortable roomy seating. Catch these recent releases this week at the Blue Springs 8. Hey everybody, Caleb Winslow, KFY Sports. The girls varsity basketball team dropped the final game of the regular season on February 26th to Oak Park 56-39. Paige Bunn led the Indians with 13 points and Allison Stevens added 11. The Indians finished their regular season 5-19. and 19. 
The boys varsity basketball team came with a big home win over Oak Park 68-61 to end the regular season. Dante Dodson led the Indians with 19 points, Aaron Greer added 16 points, and Will Penniman and Ray Sean Horn each dropped in 9. The Indians finished the regular season 7-17. Seven Coming up on the Indian sports calendar for Monday, Feb March 2nd, the boys and girls varsity basketball teams begin postseason play in the Class 5 District 15 tournament at North Kansas City High School. The girls will take on Winnetonka at 5.30 p.m. and the boys will take on the Griffins at 7 p.m. This is a Michigan Ren event and no conference passes or student activity passes will be accepted. Come out and support your Indians. Thanks, Caleb. On this day in history, in 1877, a U.S. Electoral Commission declared Rutherford B. Hayes president since the original result was too close to call. He was the only president elected this way. And finally on the show, our ACT word of the day is waffle, which means to speak or write evasively. Don't forget to sign up for the ACT by March 13th. Well, that's all we have for you today on KFOI Daily News. Keep up to date by following us on Twitter at KFOI underscore news. Thanks for watching and have a great day.